Imagine being lost at sea for over a year, battling the elements with no hope in sight. This is the incredible story of Salvador Alvarenga, a fisherman whose survival defied all odds. Salvador Alvarenga was a seasoned fisherman from Mexico, known for his deep sea fishing skills. On November 17, 2012, he set out for a routine fishing trip, hoping for a bountiful catch. However, his usual fishing partner was unavailable that day, forcing him to take a novice fisherman, Ezequiel Cordoba, along for the trip. The day started well. The duo managed to catch over 1,100 pounds of fish, including mahi-mahi, tuna, and small sharks. It seemed like a successful trip until everything went wrong. As they headed back, their GPS malfunctioned, leaving them disoriented. Shortly after, the engine failed, and to make matters worse, a massive storm struck. Waves soared as high as 10 feet, battering their small boat. Alvarenga and Cordoba managed to contact the shore through their handheld VHF radio, but without a functioning GPS, they couldn't relay their exact location. The storm momentarily abated, only to return with even greater fury. Their boat was pummeled by relentless waves, and the battery for their radio died, cutting off their only link to the outside world. In a fit of frustration and despair, Alvarenga hurled objects into the sea, feeling utterly helpless. The storm raged on, and their tiny vessel was tossed around like a toy. They tried bailing water out of the boat, but the situation was dire. No rescue came, and they were left adrift, lost in the vast Pacific Ocean. A search party was dispatched, but the vastness of the ocean and the stormy weather made it impossible to find them. Days turned into weeks, and hope began to fade. Alvarenga and Cordoba survived by catching fish with their bare hands and drinking rainwater. They even resorted to drinking turtle blood when fresh water was scarce. Unfortunately, after two months at sea, Cordoba fell ill due to the harsh conditions and possibly consuming raw fish. On day 118, he succumbed to his illness, leaving Alvarenga alone. Grief-stricken and desperate for companionship, Alvarenga kept Cordoba's body on the boat for days, talking to his deceased friend to cope with the loneliness. But he soon realized that this was unhealthy and with a heavy heart, decided to let Cordoba's body go, giving him a final farewell as he slipped into the ocean. Despite the immense loss, Alvarenga pressed on. He continued catching fish and gathering rainwater, using sheer willpower to stay alive. Finally, after 438 days at sea and drifting over 6,700 miles, Alvarenga spotted land. On January 30, 2014, he washed ashore on Ebon Atoll in the Marshall Islands. He was found by a local couple who took him in and provided medical care. His miraculous survival made headlines worldwide. After recovering, Alvarenga returned to his homeland. His story is a testament to human endurance and the will to survive against all odds. What would you do in a situation like this? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, life's greatest stories are often the ones that seem impossible. Thank you for watching Mad Narratives. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Until next time, keep exploring the extraordinary.